All right, lately we've talked a lot about a million little things in no particular order. And we have a couple tonight that dovetail in with uh, current conditions. Number 105, 286, see each position to its fruition. And a while back, I struck a card with someone. They were asking me a lot of questions about getting out when a position's not working. In other words, like a dead money position and time stops and all these other different things. And I said, just kind of randomly, random thought was like, well, if you're in for a penny, in for a pound. And that seemed to strike a chord with him. So think about it as you get into a position and you're going to see it to its fruition. And by the way, as I said each week, everyone thinks like some big epiphany is going to happen. All of a sudden, da, 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 you're a traitor. Well, the reality it is, the reality is it's a million little things, a million little details. And a lot of these things, I'm just each day, I'm like, oh, I didn't check the spreads. I mean, that, that probably could be one. Um, I got into one a few days ago. It had like a, a one and a half point spread or something stupid. And after I clicked into it, it's like as I was hit the click to buy it, I'm like, holy crap. It's got like a one and a half point spread. Luckily, I got an okay film and the market didn't took off. It was a, it was an ogre. I don't know if I mentioned this one. It, it wasn't AX that I mentioned in Facebook because that one really had a horrible spread. So I learned my lesson. But it was one, um, I forget which one it was. And I'll, I'll go in and find that trade, and we could talk about the yoga on that, meaning the opening gap reversal. Now, keep in mind, there's there's virtually always a reason to exit a position and rarely a reason to stay. And it's really hard, especially if you're making the mistake, and, and I'm guilty, okay, of watching the screen too much, and you're watching these things zig and zag and, and go against you. So right here, this was the ULS, which currently is our biggest winner in the portfolio, but it had it was dead money for a while. Now, dead money is is a position that has little or no chance of any further appreciation, according to investopedia.com. Well, if you do, it wasn't going to work, then get out, okay? But you don't know that. And it's always kind of shocking to me. It's kind of like this ULS, but it wasn't moving. I'm like, you know, this thing what do they do? It's like when I find myself looking into the company a little bit more and trying to figure out if there a reason why this stock could possibly move, what's the excitement, that confusing the issue with, with facts thing that I often talk about. When I find myself doing that, it's like I just got to just close my eyes and let it go. And believe me, when I got in this one, I thought it had tremendous potential. But when it started going sideways, I began to doubt, I began to doubt the position. And then it took forever to hit the IPT, started going sideways again. And once again, I started thinking about it. I was like, is this thing going to work or not? And luckily, it did. So my belief is don't use time stops and don't get out of a position just because it's not working. If you're in for a penny, in for a pound, you got into it, everything looked a certain way. And believe me, as soon as you step into a trade, the whole, everything begins to change. So everything's static when you go into it. You're stepping into the unknown, which creates a lot of psychological and neurological issues because we can't handle change. Stress is at, high, at its highest when information is changing or unknown. And that's the moment you step into a market. When, you're, when I'm doing my nightly analysis, everything's static, nothing's moving. I can check things out. And it's like, okay, I like this stock because of A, B, C, persistency, acceleration, all those other things. And things of that nature, <laughs> then I'll take, I'd say, okay, I'm going to take this position. But then tomorrow triggers in all kinds of, it's kind of like the, the shit hits a fan after that. It seems like, like the ADI trade or was it ADI, yeah, APH trade. It's like, I'm like, gosh, darn it. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. This thing just went crazily against me. It's like, well, their options, they evaporated. I was able to sleep last night. No one only had $1,300 or whatever it was at risk. Maybe a little bit more because it's more than one count, but you get the idea, right? Anyway, so this uh, finally did take off nicely and knock on wood so far, so good. Even with today's slide, it's still moving. Thank goodness. So I'm not dead yet. I feel fine. I think I'll go for a walk. That's one of the, you know, last week I was talking about, last week at Bandcamp, I was talking about movies when you rewatch them, they're not funny. Holy Grail is still funny, but I think you have to, you need a little bit of a warped sense of humor to get it. 